For over a decade, the media has sympathetically portrayed this elderly Palestinian as an activist, but he has a dark secret. On the 21st of February 1969, a PFLP terror cell blew up a Jerusalem supermarket. The cell was headed by Razmir Uda, who planned the bloodthirsty operation with her fiancé and cousin, Yaqub Uda. The bomb that was placed by Razmir and one of their recruits, Aisha Oda, killed Leon Kana and Edward Yaffa and injured another 20 people. Five of the terrorists were caught, including Razmir and Yaqub. The Jerusalem Post reported that Yaqub Oda, a teacher, functioned mostly in an organisational capacity. While he did not plant any bombs, he was instrumental, along with his cousin Razmir, in planning the acts of sabotage and in preparing the explosives. وبعديها صار في ال يعني الذهاب إلى المحكمة خلال سنة بعد سنة تقريبا تم الحكم علي أنا وكمان المجموعة أنا ومجموعة رسمية عودة ويعقوب عودة تم حكمنا يعني كل يعقوب عودة أخذ ثلاث مؤبدات ورسمية عودة أخذت ثلاث مؤبدات. Since his release, Jacob regularly appears in the Western media, but not as a terrorist. Always I bring my son. To come to Lifta, I tell them, here is my father's house, here is your father's house, here, 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 here. Yani, with a great feeling, sad, I leave my village. In the accompanying Guardian article, they sympathetically write, behind his light step is the weight of painful memories of a lost youth and a fading history. But it's not just the Guardian. Haaretz describe him as a retired teacher. RT call him a refugee. The Independent, a tour guide. Not one of them mention he's a cold-blooded terrorist. The New York Times takes it even further by calling him a gentle soul. While a few of the articles casually mention he was jailed, they forget to include why. Last year, the Ministry of Strategic Affairs and NGO Monitor uncovered that Yaqub was listed as a board member of Adamir, a Palestinian human rights organization. That same organization was just designated a PFLP terrorist group. In summary, the media is so eager to demonize Israel, they'll call literal terrorists human rights activists. Thanks for watching. Now, we have no big sponsors. Our videos are funded by people like you. So thank you to all of our patrons that help pay for the research that went into this video. If you'd like to support us making videos like this, you can do so by heading over to our Patreon or by purchasing our merch or by simply sharing this video with as many people as you can and make sure that you're following us on all of our social media. And if you're on YouTube, then make sure that you hit subscribe hit the bell and hit the like button as that's the only way we can get around the algorithm as YouTube really tries to hide our content. Thanks for watching.